In the following presentation, we will examine the factors that influence price elasticity of supply. So far we've considered the calculation and meaning of the figure, but we need to look at the factors that make it easier or more difficult for producers to respond to market changes. First, let's consider production time. If it takes a long time to produce a good or service, then it can be said to have more inelastic supply. If I order a custom-built sports car from an Italian luxury car manufacturer, it may take a long time to build the car. In that instance, the supply of the vehicle is inelastic. In contrast, the supply of simple clothing like a basic cotton t-shirt is more elastic. It is a relatively simple process of producing the shirt and, be can, and can be completed in a relatively short amount of time, resulting in more elastic supply. Next, we should consider the mobility of the factors of production. If the resources used in producing good A are easily transferable to the production of good B, then a rise in the production of good B could be enabled quite easily by switching resources used to produce good A to now the production of good B. However, if resources are not easily transferable in production, then supply becomes more difficult to increase and as such is more inelastic. Depending on the amount of time producers have to respond to market changes, supply can be elastic or inelastic. In the short run, increasing supply is generally more difficult than it is to increase supply in the long run. Therefore, the shorter the response time, the more inelastic supply becomes. The greater the length of time to respond, supply becomes more elastic. Spare capacity is another way of considering the level of utilization of a firm's resources. If I have a factory where all my equipment is used by a full staff, then I have little spare capacity. If I need to increase production, it will be difficult due to the fact that I have little extra equipment and an inability to hire more workers. In that case, supply is more inelastic. However, if a firm is only using half of its available equipment and three quarters of its workforce, it will be able to increase production to take advantage of a higher price in the market relatively easier. In this case, supply will be more elastic. If price suddenly rises in the market and my firm is able to hold high levels of stock, we can easily supply the market to take advantage of the higher prices. In this case, higher stock levels or inventories result in elastic supply. However, if the good I produce cannot be easily stored or held in inventory, such as fresh fruit, then it's hard for me to easily increase my supply of this good to the market, in which case supply is more inelastic. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or feel free to email me at enhancedtuition at gmail.com. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in the next one.